Now, there's no such thing as mistakes, okay? So look, that eye looks a little weird. So what? It looks cool. So there's no such thing as a mistake, okay? So if there's something like, oh shoot, I messed this up, don't worry. Honestly, some of the coolest pieces that I've seen are uh, when some of the kids, you know, mess up an eye or, or they, uh, they, you know, go over to the black. It's totally cool. There's no such thing as wrong. Turnaround Arts is a, uh, a program where schools build up the arts throughout the building in every classroom and then leverage the arts to address um, challenges that they're already working on. So things like um, increasing student learning and increasing student engagement as well as um, impacting climate and culture in a building and family involvement. Turnaround Arts is um, was the President Committee on Arts and Humanities that, who had just uh, moved to the Kennedy Center. They're an incredible organization. They take people like Elton John and Yo-Yo Ma and Misty Copeland and they have them go into these schools and uh, all across the country and have them influence and empower, inspire and empower these kids. We are hosting our turnaround artist, Autumn DeForest. She is a 15-year-old professional painter with a you know, vast experience and background in um, painting. She has been featured in a variety of different publications and works closely with Turnaround Arts to help provide great um, art integration experiences for our students. Holton got involved um, when we put out a call for schools that are in priority status to apply and they uh, applied and seemed like a really great fit. So they've been, uh, this is their first year as a Turnaround Arts school um, and that involves some professional development with teachers and, and trying uh, the teachers working the arts into the curriculum um, throughout the school. As a STEAM building, I think the A piece, I think we focus pretty heavily on the S, T, E, and M pieces, and the art integration is something that we're really working to enhance within our building. And so part of that is through visual arts like painting, but it also includes um, music and theater and dance and all sorts of different art integration activities. The arts and especially painting and singing can really help them memorize um, a lot of uh, their uh, regular studies and it's extremely important to have them be able to create on at least a weekly basis so they are able to release any kind of emotional physical tension onto the piece. Toronto Arts has been working in Minnesota for three years. So there are three school, or four schools that we started with about three years ago, and they've all seen decreases in suspensions of, of at least about 21% all the way up to about 96%. Um, they, most of them have seen decreases in behavior referrals. They're seeing increases in growth scores on the MCA, as well as some increase in proficiency in both math and reading. So we're seeing um, a lot of great early indications that your owners have made an impact. I think the biggest thing for us has just been um, the intentional reflection on how we can build art into our curriculum. I think that we have a variety of great programs in place, but with the intentional focus on the arts, it helps us to enhance that creative component for students and to find different avenues for them to demonstrate understanding and not only for them to show understanding, but actually build understanding for certain concepts. We're really glad to be able to work with Holton. There's, it seems, it's, it's a great, fit because they're a STEAM school, so integrating the arts and with STEM and, and all the other subject areas kind of is in the DNA of the schools. Being able to talk to these kids and it may, you know, maybe inspire and empower them is an, uh, a really remarkable opportunity and I'm such, it's such an honor to be here.